I lived in New Brunswick, Canada for 15 years. I've done so much here. I've seen so many things in this province, but there's always been one needle sticking out at me. Fredericton, the province's capital and one of the oldest capital cities in Canada. It's a growing city and one many venture out to for fun weekend trips. However, I've never been to the city, but today, that all changes. I drove up here from Moncton, New Brunswick with my good friend Oliver Premier to experience my first 24 hours in New Brunswick's capital. If you guys have been around my channel for a while, you guys know that I'm from New Brunswick and I like to show you guys what this province has to offer and to kind of show that this is not a no fun province. But today I'm showing you a no fun city and a no fun province. So today this is my first impression of Fredericton. We have 24 hours in this city and our timer starts right now. I'm going to be exploring Fredericton together really for the first time in depth and we want you there with us. So let's go. Historically, Fredericton has been called a boring city, with some going as far as saying it's among Canada's most boring cities. I intend on proving that wrong, and it starts with us heading to downtown Fredericton. The bridge that we just walked across connects the north side of the city to the downtown part of the city, and from this bridge, we're walking right into the downtown area, which I think is really cool. It's not something that you see in cities like Moncton or St. John. It makes Fredericton a little more walkable. So this right here is the Christ Church Cathedral. It is the first thing that you're going to find when you come downtown off of the bridge that's over there. So as you guys heard, the bells of the church just went off, signaling that it is 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and we're just getting this adventure started. This is the most impressive church I've ever been in, in the Atlantic Canada region. It's absolutely amazing, the design of the windows, the design of the architecture. The really nice thing about being in a church like this is how quiet it is in here. When you're outside in the downtown, you're gonna hear all kinds of cars and traffic going by, but all you can hear in here is just the hum of the generator. It's so peaceful. I love it. We're gonna head into the downtown now. This is kind of like the gateway to the downtown, so come on, let's go. Next, we walked further into the city where we accidentally stumbled across a piece of Canadian history, the New Brunswick Legislative Building. This building is over 240 years old and it looks absolutely amazing. I've been in Fredericton for maybe three hours now and something I'm already beginning to notice is the architecture of this city and the design of some of these buildings are absolutely breathtaking. Out with the old, in with the new. The diverse buildings of Fredericton make this city unlike anything else in New Brunswick. Moncton definitely has some old buildings mixed with new buildings but most of Moncton are these 1960s, 1970s buildings. But these buildings here they look really new. And then a building right here, literally across the street, that's hundreds of years old, just has a really good blend of stuff in Fredericton. My, that's a really nice park over there. We should try heading over to it. Okay, so I have a destination right now, and that is a public wash. Currently, there's a little obstacle in the way, which happens to be of the slippery type. Well, we didn't say this would be distraction free, and technically, this still is in Fredericton, albeit not exactly an intentional attraction. So, this park is right in the downtown of Fredericton. Due to the recent flooding that New Brunswick has been experiencing over the last couple of weeks, this whole park is just completely frozen over, and it's just one giant skating rink for anyone to enjoy, which is currently what I'm doing. Pleasures and Treasures, a love shop for sexy couples. We should go. After all, we are spending the night together. All right, guys, so I'm currently on the run from a creep right now. Uh, oh, no! <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, we both have girlfriends, but I mean, I mean, look at this guy. Oh, I just... So I mentioned earlier about the comparison between new and old buildings here in Fredericton. Well, the difference is night and day and sometimes can be a difference between just crossing the street. And just another example of this is the New Brunswick Justice Building. I believe this used to be the courthouse of New Brunswick, but now it is not operating as that anymore. But it's just another fantastic building here, just along the same street that we've been walking down for the better part of 30 minutes. We are now arriving at probably one of the coolest buildings we've been to today. This is the Fredericton City Hall. Oh, 
close. So we've come to the end of the main downtown area. We're kind of walking south now back against where we were. A lot of the stores and cafes and just little things to do here close really early in the evening. The caretaker at the cathedral made a note that the nightlife here has died down a lot. And really it's kind of not hard to see why. Just as we began to give up on the city, we came across a full city block just dedicated to pubs and partying. Of course, COVID had the place closed, but imagine the nightlife and energy here during normal times. This little square here is called the Tanner. It seems like that this is the, I guess, the whole block of the city dedicated to just nightlife area. I think that's really cool, and it's very unique. I've never seen a whole city block just kind of carved out to have this one seating area. Next up on our list was the King's Place Mall, which is a big building that had us excited just from thinking about the things that we could do there. But what we found was actually just, well, this. Do you need a card to access the other floors? I'm not sure if they want or don't want us to shop here. After that, we kind of gave up on downtown Fredericton, and we decided we'd take the van and just drive uptown a little bit to see what we could find there. So since we had a vehicle, we were able to travel a little over five kilometers to a place called Number One Noodle. There, Oliver and I were treated to an absolutely delicious meal, an amazing atmosphere and decor, as well as countless power outlets and USB ports for us to charge our gear. That night, we planned to camp overnight in my van, which is subject to a future video. So the power outlets made a massive difference in our ability to continue filming. Number one noodle, you provided everything we needed, plus amazing food. That beef is perfect. Afterwards, we did some work, emptied our SD cards, then went to the camping grounds for the night. The first few hours of these 24 hours had passed, and now it's time for bed. We just finished our meal. We're gonna go to sleep now. We're gonna go into the car and go camping. Oh, oh right when I... Right when I'm about to say goodnight. This is where I'm spending the night tonight and maybe many more after this if the experience is enjoyable. Yeah. Thank you for joining me on this really weird video. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning for sunrise. We did it. Good morning to you all and good morning Fredericton. Let's get this day started. We're on our 17th hour of our 24 hours in Fredericton. We're gonna meet back on the bridge at the 24th hour, which is one o'clock, and we're gonna give you our final thoughts of this place. The first thing we're gonna do today is we're gonna have a nice lovely breakfast at Cora's downtown in Fredericton. So let's go there right now. Cora's is a Canadian restaurant chain that serves breakfast food to hungry Canadians, and it's one of our favorite places to eat at. So of course we chose to eat here for breakfast, and it's really not that difficult to see why. Can I get you anything else at all right now? Uh, no. I'm alright, thank you. you guys enjoy. Well, how was the food? <laughs> so it is 10 o'clock right now. This is our 19th hour in Fredericton. Literally in viewing distance from the Coras is the Fredericton Public Library. We're gonna be one of the first people inside the library for the day. As it turns out, the library has a strict no filming policy, which I followed. However, the library was nice and we continued to explore downtown throughout the morning. Is it closed? It's closed. It's not even five o'clock yet. Well, that sucked, but we found other things to do. The last place that we're going to be at today is the Kingswood Entertainment Center, which is quite a ways from downtown, but it says Entertainment Center, so it's something interesting to do in Fredericton. And entertained we certainly were. Oh, <laughs> this is gonna be great. This is where we're gonna be playing for the next hour. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we need, okay, so that's. <laughs> We haven't even started the game and I'm already so laughing like an idiot. Alright. <laughs> Cosmic Striker 32 versus Jokey Laming. Let's get this on. And so we spent the next hour bowling, an activity we hadn't partaken in for years. And it was awesome. That's the game. 66 to 60. Well, After a few games of bowling in which Oliver won all of, we decided we were going to call it there and head back to the bridge to give our final thoughts of Fredericton. We're now leaving the Kingswood 
entertainment center. The unfortunate thing about it is it is like 10 kilometers outside of the downtown of Fredericton. So we do have to drive quite a bit of the way there. I just checked the clock and we only have 15 minutes until our 24 hours are up. So we have to get back to the bridge before the 24 hours are up. Let's get there as quickly as we can. Just like that, my time in Fredericton neared its end. As we drove back to downtown to head back to the walkway bridge, Oliver and I reflected the last 24 hours to give a formulated answer. Is Fredericton Canada's most boring city? Was my first impressions good? Well, let's find out what I had to say. No, no, it's almost one. It's almost I know, I know, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh, we made it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've made it to the exact same spot. Oliver and I have completed 24 hours in Fredericton. This is my first impression of Fredericton. Now, is this Canada's most boring city? Is it New Brunswick's worst place? Even though Fredericton had its ups and downs, even though Fredericton was relatively boring throughout the average weekday, I still had fun here. Just because a place is boring doesn't mean that everything about it is boring. There are still things you can do in the city. The lesson of this video is, even though a place may seem boring, go out and experience something that you've never experienced before and see something from a perspective of yours. Fredericton is not the worst city in New Brunswick, but I also don't think it's the best. In my opinion, I think the best city in New Brunswick is Moncton, and if you want to find out why, click this video right here to find out why 10,000 people are moving to Moncton and why the city's so great. So, that's going to do it for this week on Noki Travels. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!